Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News in Shinrin-yoku with a volcano update Saturday, October 2nd, around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. You're looking at La Palma Live. Uh, the current amount of lava coming out of this volcano has increased dramatically as well as seismically. But we have four volcanoes to talk about tonight, so let's get started. Volcano, volcano in the Aeolian Islands in Italy has elevated fumarolic activity. Now, we got this alert earlier today. We did a little research on what's going on, but let's see what they have to say. Now, the Observatory Institute Nacional di Geofisca e Volcanologica reported that elevated fumarolic activity at the Fossa Summit Crater has been detected today. Now, the Fossa Summit Crater has erupted at VEI 3 many times in the past. Now, first, let's get you up to speed. The Aeolian Islands are north of Sicily here, sometimes referred to as the Lapari Islands or the Lapari Group, after the largest island in the volcanic group. And here is Lapari, and here's Volcano, Volcane, and that is the island right off of Messina in Sicily. You can see uh, Mount Etna is here, and Mount and Stromboli is part of the Olean Islands to the north. And we know Stromboli has pretty regularly erupting. Now, Volcano is a different story, and it's more explosive. So if we come over to the eruptive history here at the Global Volcanism Program, you can see the last eruption was VEI-3, multiple events from 1873 to 1888. If you look at uh, some of the historical data in other papers, it's actually saying 1890. So, but all from Fossa, and these are three VEI-3 historical eruptions, three in a row in just about 15 years. So that could be pretty devastating for the people. Now, luckily, there is only about 1,000 people on Volcano. There's about 20,000 people living on all these islands, but it could affect the mainland, Calabria, and other areas based on weather patterns. So we're going to keep a close eye on that because there has been no uptick in this volcano in quite a long time. The previous steam event was back in 2014. So clearly something major is happening there. Also, there's increased seismic tremor and other evidence that this baby may about to blow explosively, volcanianly. Frequent eruptions since ancient medieval times during the past 300 years. It's a stratovolcano, which is different than La Palma, which is a cinder cone, and then a fusive volcano. This baby is explosive, volcanian, so very dangerous with extremely viscous lava. So there's a heads up there, first heads up of the night. And we'll leave you links to all this so you can do your own homework. Now, there is also an ongoing earthquake swarm with Kelir Mountain, which is north of the Faglados Fall eruption, which is currently happening on the Reykjanes Ridge. And this uh, update just coming out from Iceland Geology. But based on what I'm seeing, it is my view that magma is the reason why this earthquake activity is happening. The magma seems trapped based on the earthquake activity. And that is interesting. This suggests that the feeder channel that possibly started at this location has closed up. And that is the reason why the eruption in Faglados Fall Mountain has stopped. At least that's the working hypothesis. Um, it's unclear uh, what is actually going on, but we can come over to the seismos here on Reykjavik, and you can see uh, there is literally a seismic swarm that's been happening for two days in this region with magnitude 3 or greater quakes. We've actually gone above magnitude 4 here. So now the worry is that all this activity will cause a large earthquake, which typically happens near Kalir, near Reykjavik, causing damage. So there's periodic large earthquakes in the magnitude 6, between 6 and 7 range. That could happen near Reykjavik, and it could be devastating. On top of that, Kelir Mountain is actually a volcano. And this little pointy uh, summit here, which we've got a great picture of there, is actually a volcano that erupted during the Pleistocene, during the Ice Age, um, under a glacier. So this is what formed under the glacier. It's very fascinating. If you want, want to know more about it, I'll leave you links to the Krushevik Prolignaya system, which includes the current eruption happening on the surface there in uh, the Reykjanes Peninsula. Kalir is also part of the system, so it just makes sense um, that it will possibly erupt. 
Now, the last eruption from this field was, as we know, 680 years ago at VEI-1. The current eruption has exceeded that based on lava and output, but it could go up to VEI-2 here, so we're keeping a close eye on that region of Iceland by Kelir. Now, let's get to the La Palma update. The most recent volcanic ash advisory coming out just about an hour ago showing ash to 10,000 feet. The aviation color code is red. And La Palma Island and the eruption satellite view of the cloud. We showed this on Bushcraft Bears video yesterday, but satellite images emerged about six hours later, and they are fantastic. Look at what this little eruption is doing to the weather on Earth. Absolutely spectacular. Now, some other interesting information coming out from La Provincia, which is coming directly from La Palmas in Spain. Uh, there were workers very close to the volcano yesterday when that new vent erupted, and they got caught in the explosion. So that amazing footage coming out, I wanted to share with you from yesterday. Uh, let's get back live here and see what the volcano is doing. Wow, some spectacular activity here at La Palma. We got pretty low resolution because we are on satellite. But what we can see is that there is mass, new massive lava flows coming down the slope here, probably destroying more buildings. And if we could just get this to clear up here, um, we might have a better idea on how many structures are actually destroyed at this point. There it is. 880 destroyed. 28.3 kilometers of roads destroyed. 16,380 tons a day of SO4, which is a pretty big number. Visibility is low currently. And, well, lava output is amazingly high. So all these new lava flows will be mapped. Uh, in 24 hours, which we'll be able to share with you. Give them a thumbs up and subscribe at FRTV. We'll leave you links to this below. And just amazing stuff going on there. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Well, let's just let that run. Why not? In the background for a nice background noise. Now, uh, pay, uh, from space.com here, they have some new pictures of the town of Los Lanos here and the lava flow from yesterday. Um, a little better, different picture than we shared with you on the last update. So I figured I'd bring this one to you. Absolutely fantastic there. Take a look at the city right next to the lava flow. And people just living their lives in the midst of all of this. Is, well, it's almost mind-blowing. Now, a lot of the satellite data, I want to bring you to one source is Copernicus. And here we are at the Copernicus Emergency Management Services. Europe's eye on the Earth, and Copernicus is a satellite system, and here was the uh, latest lava flow map from yesterday, which will obviously change. You can see it here in the update. That is coming from Copernicus, and we'll leave you the website where you can check to see if they have new updates on. I would imagine that this flow is now going to be closing in a little bit towards Los Lanos, Los Lanos and maybe even a secondary uh, input into the ocean, so we're keeping a close eye on that for you. Also, we have some of the most recent telemetry. We can see that there is increased tremor um, over the recent hours. And we can see that there is a massive, this is three-day seismicity, 24-hour seismicity. And here we can see the seismic tremor going up, albeit in a cycle here. There's cycles of more eruptive and less eruptive activity, but in general, going up. And if we look at the tiltimeters here, inflation has been high since September 21st and remaining high. And here again, we can see inflation up to the present staying pretty standard. Now, this means that this volcano is going to continue to erupt 
in the in the fashion that it's erupting here uh, until things change. So quick, let's look at the uptick in earthquakes today at La Palma. <clears throat> Quite a significant uh, uptick here, and let's run it through. Now, during the past 24 hours, La Palma volcano was shaken by 14 quakes of magnitude 3 or above. That is the most significant uptick in, since the eruption began. 14 quakes of magnitude 3 or above, 31 quakes between 2 and 3. So a significant uptick in moderate earthquake activity at the volcano. And there, there you have it. It's all happening up on that Cumbre Vieja Ridge, which is everyone is worried about calving off into the ocean. But again, in order for that to occur, we would need this eruption to, to gain strength and become five times bigger. At the same time, we would need this seismicity to reach the five, six magnitude before we would have to worry about cracking. Now let's quick jump over here to Hawaii and our favorite new channel, Two Pineapples. Subscribe to the channel, give them a thumbs up, tell them Diamond sent you, and it's just spectacular what they're doing over here. They're playing really cool music and giving you all four live stream shots directly um, from the USGS. So that is a close-up of this one of these little bubbling pools. And they also have a close-up sometimes of this fissure, which is just dumping lava into the lake. Now, the lake has come up four meters today, 23 meters total since the beginning of the eruption. But it is quite a slow-moving, caldera-filling type lava event. And what we would be waiting for is enough depth and pressure here to push this lava down and out through some tubes to more per peripheral areas that are residential, unfortunately, like what happened during the last eruption. No big boom coming from this one, but simply the act of filling this up with lava and creating new pressure and sending that down slope is a very high probability. So we're keeping a close eye on that for you as well. A lot to, to do and talk about today. We've got lots of volcanoes erupting and we've got lots of threats like the newest threat, Volcano Volcano in the Aeolian Islands in Italy. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In a dystopian world where the mainstream media does not care about what's happening on Earth geophysically, but a geologist like Diamond, well, this is my lifeblood. And we bring you the facts because, well, you deserve them. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and stay tuned for more updates. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom to knowledge. Mm -hmm.